service were you in? I was in the army. You were in the army? Yeah. For how long? Oh, uh, three years. Three years? And when was this? Oh, uh, 1966 to 1969. Wow. And did you uh, serve in any wars? Oh, uh, Vietnam. And how, is, how has the war changed you? Well, I learned a lot and, uh, oh, I grew up a lot. Yeah. I grew up a lot. So the army was good to me and, uh, They are a good place to join. If you're young and don't have a job, good place to join. And to reflect upon our country, reflect upon the sacrifice that not only the veterans but their families had made for democracy and freedom of American history. Back to the Revolutionary War and all today. It's called sacrifice, patriotism, and courage. It's unique that any other country in the world is unique. We are unique. We are different. We send our young men and women overseas for democracy and freedom and injustice and tolerance. When you think of that, what a great country and such a young country. A country of immigrants, and even today, we welcome immigrants. A country that says to our national leaders, here's our sons, here's our daughters, here's our mothers and fathers and brothers or sisters. They have volunteered on behalf of this great country. And that's why it's imperative that Veterans Day and Memorial Day and all the holidays be celebrated at events like this to educate another generation about the military and what it's done for this country. All right. So uh, what branch of service were you? The Marines. The Marines. And when did you serve? Uh, 1946 to, uh, for three years. Well, see, and though, nowadays, you know, people don't care about servicemen. In those days, since the World War II had just ended, everybody loved you. I mean, they were all good to you. If you wanted, to, if I wanted to go about 200 miles, you know, to hitchhike, I'd just go like this. The first guy would pick, you know, pick me up, or a truck would say, "Yeah, jump in," and uh, you go into a bar. People wanted to buy you drinks. Now that you know. You've served your country. Do you feel that your country served you? Oh, you know, some. I wish I could go back in. Life is dull now, and nowadays at least I'd go to Afghanistan or Iraq. And no, I would have loved to go back in. I even until it's telling down. I says they should let guys like us uh, go in. We got nothing to live for. What are we doing, sitting around waiting to die? <laughs> <laughs> Someone calls up <laughs> and say, "Yeah." Another day closer to death. <laughs> My name is uh, Nick J. Jerkovic, and I fought in World War II. I, I was not an enlistee, I was drafted. If you went overseas, well, originally when I went in, I got $20, $21, no, $21 a month. A month? A month. Then I got, I got, I got promoted to corporal, so I got 66 bucks a month. They gave us for every year we uh, served, I think they gave us like a hundred bucks, so I got three hundred dollars. You know, right. if you go serve overseas, you get a little more. Today, in today's society, they're they're getting they're getting well paid. That's why you got such a guy, many guys in the army. But at that time, what are they paying them? You know, uh, I I don't know. A lot of guys were just glad to come. When we got out of the army, there was no jobs. Because when you got like twenty million guys in service and all the uh, uh, people around you that are necessary in that type of situation, where where's the money going to come from? It's the one thing in my life I'll never forget. You keep memory. Where are them guys? Some you know are dead. Some you never saw again. Maybe you try to keep in touch with them. Mm -hmm. You used to send Christmas card, then you get a Christmas card, so and so passed away, and then they do, they do have excursions going back, you know, uh, veterans going back uh, up and down the border, uh, a beach sort of. Mm -hmm. But that uh, pretty soon you lose touch. <laughs>